Today, I'm going to be sharing the data science projects that got me my very first data science job. I'm also going to be sharing some tips I picked up while I was in the process of switching careers. But first, a little bit of background about me. I studied math in college. I didn't take any Python classes in school, but I did have some classes that used Stata, statistics, and econometrics. After graduating, I worked in economic consulting for a year where I used Stata and Excel for data analysis. I realized pretty quickly that I wanted to leave that industry and switch into data science because I really enjoyed the data work I was doing. My main goal was to just get my foot in the door as soon as possible. I was willing to take a pay cut and accept an offer at a lower tier firm if I could just have the title data scientist and the opportunity to develop my coding and machine learning skills. As I was building a portfolio and preparing for interviews, I watched a lot of YouTube videos to get inspiration for data science projects. There are YouTubers like Kenji and Tina, who I'm sure you've heard of if you are interested in data science, and their projects are fantastic. You do not need to come close to the level of polish on these projects to break into data science and get your first data science job. Those projects are a great reference point for what works at the top companies, but please don't feel like you have to wait to get three or four really polished projects before applying to jobs. Nearly every company has a need for data scientists. There are so many really great data science jobs out there where you will still have opportunities to hone your data science skills. You might not be at the biggest, most selective tech company or hottest, highest paying startup, but you will be learning. So now, with that intro out of the way, I'm going to talk about my first ever Python projects. These did not go on my resume. At my consulting job, I spent a lot of time manipulating and analyzing large data sets, and then creating visualizations with the data that I prepared. While working on those projects, I picked up a lot of industry-wide best practices for working with data. The only problem was that my data work was done almost entirely in Stata. Stata is not the best language for data science. Stata is used more often in academia and it's becoming more and more outdated. So the first few Python projects I did were replicating those Stata projects in Python. I had no experience with Python before doing this, but replicating these projects helped me pick up Python pretty quickly. Again, I didn't put these projects on my resume. They were really just exercises I used to learn basic Python syntax. Once I had a little bit of Python under my belt, I took any opportunity I could to use Python at work, whether it was automating tedious tasks or doing data analysis work. If you are trying to get out of a job and transition into data science, see if there are absolutely any opportunities at work for you to use Python. If you can say you have just a little bit of professional experience using Python, that's going to go a long way. Once I had that little bit of Python experience, I started thinking about projects I could feature on my resume. First and foremost, I wanted to pick a subject matter I was really interested in. I would highly recommend doing this. It's gonna help you stay motivated and interested in the project. If you're just analyzing some generic census data, it's going to be easy to get bored and frustrated and you're going to have less motivation when you hit roadblocks, unless there's some personal reason you're really interested in census data. I am very passionate about music, so I decided to do a project using Spotify data. I also wanted to do a project that involved as many aspects of data science as possible to kill as many birds with one stone, if that makes sense. So I did the web scraping to collect the data. I cleaned it, analyzed it, built a model, deployed the model to the web, created an interactive UI for my web app. And lastly, I did a quick write up on the project with some summary tables. I'll insert a screen recording in a second to show you what it looks like. I'm planning on updating my website soon, so. I don't know what this is going to look like in a few months. There are definitely sloppy parts of this project that need to be redone at some point. This is my homepage. It used to be just a portfolio for my music, but I added this math tab here for my data projects. In the about section, I just have a quick introduction to the math page because it's pretty different from my music pages. The music genre predictor is what I named my Spotify project. The way this works is any person with an internet connection can access my website and type in the name of a song. When you hit search, the web app I built searches for that song in Spotify, then collects song characteristic data on that song using Spotify's API. You can collect things like tempo, key signature, energy, and a whole lot of other really interesting song characteristics using Spotify's API. 
Once all that data is collected, it is inputted into a multinomial logit model that I trained. The model outputs what it thinks the song's genre is based on the musical characteristics of the song. For simplicity's sake, the model is only designed to classify songs into one of six genres. I also have a short write-up on my methodology. I wrote about things like feature selection, evaluation criteria, and next steps. As I was working on this project, I was also networking. Always be networking. I didn't feel ready to apply while I was working on this project, but I still wanted to begin the networking process, reach out to people in the industry, learn more about the industry and get a better sense of what I needed to do to pass interviews and break into data science. One person I messaged on LinkedIn ended up being an amazing mentor to me. He and I both had an actuarial background, which is partly why his profile caught my attention, and I reached out to him. We began talking, I mentioned this project, and he offered to review it for me. So he actually looked at a few iterations of this project for me before I applied anywhere, which was immensely helpful. I bring this up because when you are working on personal projects, it's really important to try to get feedback when you can. You don't necessarily need someone to go through your code line by line, but even just talking with someone in the industry about the scope of the project can be really helpful. Get someone to just hear about your overall methodology. Is your project feasible? Does it make sense? Are there any elements you're forgetting that would be helpful to include? He helped me think through a lot of those big picture questions and pointed out things I wasn't even thinking about. Of all the advice I got from him, I think the most valuable was to just start applying. Once I got my genre predictor into a presentable state and once the app was functional, he told me to start applying to jobs. At that point, I was really surprised to hear that. I thought I needed to create one or two more projects, but he was right. I actually even had another mentor tell me to start applying a lot earlier than I felt ready to. So I did, and to my surprise, I started getting interviews. All this is to say you're probably going to be ready to apply a lot earlier than you think. Now, there was actually technically one more data science project I featured on my website, my senior thesis. I made another video talking specifically about my senior thesis, so feel free to check that out. The TLDR is I spent a year working with the police department of a major US city to pull insights from crime data. I originally didn't want to feature this project because it was done in Stata, which is pretty irrelevant in data science today. However, the project involved a lot of important data science skills like cleaning data, creating visualizations, building models, and presenting statistical results in simple business terms. If you're trying to break into data science and build a project from scratch today, you might be thinking, okay, great, this person spent a year on a senior thesis how am I supposed to do that now? How is this supposed to help me? In some ways, you're right. You can probably whip up something like the genre predictor I made in a couple of weeks, but you're not going to come up with a 300 page senior thesis in a month. Here's what you can do though. Think back to all the assignments you did in school. Think about all the problem sets you did. See if you can beef up any school projects that you've already completed and spin those into data science projects. All you have to do is polish it up upload it to GitHub, create a little write-up, and highlight aspects of the project that are related to data science. It's going to save you a lot of time. Think back, did you ever take a stats class, an econometrics class, even a finance class where you were maybe required to use R or some other statistical software? I bet there's something you can pull out of your back pocket. You might need to refurbish it a bit, but that's going to be a lot faster than starting from scratch. It took me a few months to finish my genre predictor mostly because I had no idea what I was doing. Personal projects from scratch are going to be time consuming, but you don't have to start from scratch. If you want to check out my senior thesis, I will link to the video where I talk about that. So those were all the data science projects I worked on before I was officially a data scientist. Hopefully that gives you some perspective outside of the YouTube data science gurus who work at the top companies. If you take anything away from this video, remember these four things. One, always be networking. You don't know what you don't know. You have to talk to people in the industry to get up-to-date information. Two, if you're going to do a project from scratch, pick something you're really passionate about. Three, if you already have a job, even if it's an internship and you're trying to switch industries, see if there's absolutely any way you can use Python or R at work. Four, you don't have to make projects from scratch. 
Think about the assignments you did in school. Can you spin any of those into data science projects and save yourself a lot of time? I think those four things are honestly the most important things I learned from working on personal data science projects. Feel free to comment or email me if you have any questions or want any advice. I am still very new to this field, but I'm very willing and happy to help out other people who are trying to transition. It is not easy, it takes a lot of work, and if there's anything I can do to help, let me know. With that, happy coding, and I will see you in the next video.